Hi everyone, I'm News 8 meteorologist Liam Healy. We got a few updates here for you, especially concerning the Aurora. It's looking like a good potential that Friday night into Saturday could be one of the most prolific auroras that we have seen in quite some time. Now, this happens as a result of what we call coronal mass ejections, also known as CMEs or as Chief Meteorologist Eric Snyder calls them, sunburps. And they're pretty aptly named for that because they're just a big burst of material that comes off the sun. And if they're directed towards the Earth, well, what we can get is this really fantastic aurora because you see this interaction of all these highly charged particles interacting with Earth's magnetic Field. Now, all this is coming together as we see several of them likely to come together in what's called a cannibal CME. And what that's going to do is just provide us with more of those highly charged particles interacting with Earth's magnetic field Friday night into Saturday morning that could produce the aurora. Now, this is being called a potential G4. This is a G4 geomagnetic storm watch from NOAA Space Weather Prediction Center. And that means that you could see viewing as far south as New York City. That's like going to be the furthest extent. And even as far as Alabama, you could see it faintly. But good viewing is potentially there for us here in western New York. Now, of course, once again, it is western New York. So we do need to think about the forecast pretty closely here. One of the big things is going to be the fact that cloud cover is in that forecast. We're looking for good conditions when it comes to moonlight, meaning that it'll be fairly dark with a relatively new moon. But cloud cover, I think, is going to be a big issue, especially when you have to look north for this. You need to look towards the north to see the aurora. You need a good view of it unobstructed. And Part of that unobstruction includes clouds around. So Friday, we are going to see showers begin to make its way through the area through most of the daytime on our Friday. And that includes as we head through into the evening and overnight hours when we're going to start to see the potential of this aurora being shown. Now, this is not an implicit forecast. There are going to be variations. Every single model you look at, we remember with the solar eclipse, is going to feature a different look at about exactly what the clouds are going to be. But the big thing with this is, is that looking out over the lake, which is probably where a lot of people are going to be doing it. And just looking up to the north in general, it is likely we're going to have some of those lower clouds still hanging around through most of the night. And that'll be something that we need to watch out for and need to be mindful of because, well, those are going to block your view. I do think it is going to be fairly cloudy. We're going to update this forecast as we get closer. But I have to say right now, through a lot of Saturday night, yes, there are going to be breaks in the clouds, but... I do think we're going to have a pretty hefty amount of cloud cover hanging around the area Friday night into Saturday as the system moves out. If it moves out a little bit faster or if it moves out a little bit slower, those are all going to have bigger impacts on how this is going to look. But right now, what I would say for you is have a plan ready to go. Have a spot that you know that you can get to that is dark and have something handy that you can keep track of the satellite. The News 8 app is good at that. We have it in our interactive radar. You can check the satellite there. The other really big thing is, is don't get your hopes up too high, but if you do manage to find that break in the clouds, this has the potential at least right now based on how things are looking. Space weather is even more fickle than our terrestrial weather that we could see a pretty good show around if we can get breaks in these clouds. We'll talk more about it in the coming 24, 36 hours.